Just watch how I do it. How I do it. Just watch how I do it. How I do it. gonna be taken away I'm gonna be definitely I mean I can't wait to see her but so I don't know <laughs> it'll be interesting let me since the first day I saw you I'm just you're the one I mean I'm can't wait to see what our future has in store and so, I don't know I'm excited it's still kind of hit me in waves but that, I mean, today's the first day of the rest of our lives to as an actual married couple and I just can't wait to see what the future has in store for us it's just I love her everything. <laughs> She's my best friend. She's, I mean, so really, uh, I'm excited, nervous, but excited. <laughs> I might cry just out of happiness. Like, I might be so excited that this day is here. I might, like, I feel like when I see him, I'm just gonna, like, get those butterflies and just get, like, kind of, like, tight. I don't know, it's just so exciting. I did, I do, and I always will choose you. Always. You'll always be my number one. And come first before everything else. Even cross it. is a public declaration of a couple's decision to build a life together. By making vows in the presence of family and friends, Kristen and Ryan are holding themselves accountable. They're promising not just to each other, but to all of you, that they will love one another. Thirty-three years, eight months, and twenty-nine days. That's how long it took me to find you. Being alone was comfortable for me. I figured I'd rather be alone than with the wrong one. But all along, I had faith I would find you. It simply just took me moving back to the place that I called home all those years to find you. You've become my entire world, a world I didn't even think was possible. Every time I stare into those big, beautiful eyes, I ask myself, how did I manage to get so lucky? You are truly beautiful in every aspect, inside and out. I love you continually, and you manage to impress me, leave me in awe, encourage me, inspire me to become a better person, not only for myself, but for you, our family, in the beginning of our biggest adventure yet. And when we're old and we have thousands of memories tucked behind our wrinkled faces, I promise you right now, I will still trace every line on your still gorgeous face, just so I can relive all the moments, beautiful moments that we're about to share together in this life ahead of us. This moment right now being one of my favorites, where I commit the rest of my life to love you. To vow to love you all my life just doesn't seem fair because one lifetime with you simply isn't enough. Kristen, do you take Ryan to be your lawful husband? You promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. Ryan, do you take Kristen to be your lawful wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, 
and forsaking all others, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live. I do. Ryan, you may now kiss the bride. Kristen comes into everybody's life like a Dorchester tornado. And she turns you upside down, and whether you wait, it's the way that you take it. And she made my life better, and she changed my life. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful you're in my life. John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. I say to you, Ryan and Kristen, ask not what your spouse can do for you, but ask what you can do for your spouse. Because that is true love, and that is true strength. persuaded her to be my MySpace friend. She did not accept my friend request for a few weeks. I was very offended. This friendship almost didn't happen. Thankfully, she finally accepted and our love story began. <laughs> both have such thoughtful hearts and complement each other so well. You give me hope in online dating, which, trust me, is a very hopeless thing. I have noticed such a change in Kristen. She's truly the happiest I've ever seen. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for you, too. I know you already know you're getting a great man. But I'm telling you, from my point of view, you are getting a spectacular man. He is someone that does things from the bottom of his heart, not looking for a favor, not doing it to just say, hey, I did this. He does it because he cares. And you have gotten a man that will help you, your family, and anyone else you ask for to do anything. Brian, I love you and I congratulate you, everyone.